Hey guys, part of why my spending habit has so drastically changed and been cut is I will, first of all, I love making videos and I love uh, doing YouTube and I have enough product to open if we wanted to do that for probably a year, given in my storage facility, which I'm looking to move into a new home sometime soon. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's buying a home is always very complicated. There's some specs in, and you have to get your mortgage right, and then you have to um, set a closing date, and then fees, and all of this like random stuff. Buying homes, hopefully, this will be the last home I buy, which would be great since moving is also a huge cost, and new furniture, etc., etc. But I really did want more space so I can have my library. Uh, it's not really about magic cards, but that's kind of. As I go through stories, I realize that one of the reasons that I played magic so much or I have so much magic in my storage is due to friends I've made. Like I can say, oh wow, look at this future site. I do have a sealed future site booster box. Apparently I do. And look at this future site box. I remember drafting with my friends and I believe it was, uh, so Dissensions was, um, Dissensions was in my first year of college. So sometime around then, and I was like, wow, let me snap it to my friend. Let me Snapchat it to my friend. And I was like, oh, look at this box. There's dissensions. I have like blister packs of dissensions. I didn't even know they came in those, but apparently I have a ton of them of just boxes of blister packs and got them from Dave and Adams when they must have been around back then as well. So it's kind of interesting uh, that, you know, I <laughs> you know, it's still in the original Dave and Adams packing. So fascinating stuff and just in storage but um, when you talk about why I played and why I own so many magic cards it's really because of my friends and it's a community that you build upon and it's a community that you're part of and everyone part of a community whether or not they like it or whether or not they are a beneficial part of the community so my friends played a ton of magic I played a ton of magic and at my current local game store none of my friends will go there and there's many reasons. They feel disrespected, they feel like it is... So that game store is much bigger. It has great air conditioning, It has it's a comic book store, it has really nice comic books to read and figures and anime. It's a perfect store for me. My friends hate it. They hate playing there. They dislike, I guess, management if you will. I, I like management, but they dislike management and they just refuse. At some point in time, I was able to tell them, hey, we should play here because I'm going to be here. I'm going to force you to be here because I'm here. And I know you guys want to hang out with me because after Friday Night Magic, we go to a tavern some type and we go eat dinner or we'll um, go hang out after. We'll just have fun um, with the guys. But, okay. So they pretty much, uh, they must have talked when I was gone. I have not gone to that place in a very long time, in over a month, because I've been busy with uh, traveling. So I had to be in PA for my sister's wedding last weekend. The previous two weekends, I was in Austin giving, um, we followed the gutter list. And then the weekend before, I was in California. So I haven't been at the game store. So at some point in time, they pretty much mutinied and decided to go at a different game store. Now, I went to that game store and they had sent me a message and they've sent me these messages before saying that they're not going to show up, but then they eventually do. No one was there. They are playing Force of Will. And they just, you know, I cannot... I cannot go to that store anymore because there's no community. I'm going to go to the store where my friends are. I'm not going to go to the store and just be there by myself. That's kind of lame. So long story short, you know, I've been going to the same store for five years, ever since I moved to Houston. And I love the store. And I've had um, disagreements with how the store has been run. I've seen so many different tournament organizers and now they have a new one or they don't have one at all again. And I've spent so much money in the store, I just, you, you, I'm forced into a position where I have to go to the new store because that's where the community I enjoy is. And, you know, if you're a local game store, treat your players right. Um, treat all your players right. Is there favorism? Yes. If someone's going to spend a lot of money, you will favor them. And maybe they feel better about the store than someone who does not spend a lot of money and is not favored. 
but at the same time, it, it's very sad. Like, uh, it is very sad. I will not be going to the store until the community builds up again. And that is that because, you know, my friends are at a different store, so I have to leave. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Or if you have a um, solution, I would love to hear it in the comments.